probably suggest in South Africa that we are in a scenario where we have engaged in this or engaging in this sort of big man politics and this, you know, the, the cult of the personality. And I think that's what the December elective conference, and certainly in 2019, is becoming about, um, discussing the, the presidential candidates of each various party, you know, the merits of Julius Malema or um, you know, whoever might be the ANC presidential candidate and Musi Maimani, as opposed to actually engaging with their party's uh, you know, policy platforms. We haven't really seen a, a clash of, of, of policies and a really articulated debate happening along those lines. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think part of that is, again, it's mentioned, is in, especially in 2017, is the rise of various civil society uh, groups that have obviously been, you know, emerged largely in opposition against Jacob Zuma and various movements, Save South Africa, um, you know, being probably the most prominent, but, you know, there they have, they have been many. Um, my minor critique, either from the fact that, of course, these are important organizations, and perhaps this is something that Sonara is going to look into as well, is the lack of emphasis, the fact that we do live in a multi-party democracy. Um, for much of the, the book, and in fact, the um, Mandela magic, which is, I, I gauge, is the, almost the optimistic scenario, the best, uh, the best outcome, um, really envisages that this scenario is most likely with the reinvigorated ANC. And I wonder if it's not a trap that civil society and um, even us as analysts and commentators fall into to view the progress of South Africa purely as one that relies on um, the ANC being saved or some kind of reformation of the ANC in order to come about. There's been little articulation of the fact that, well, why don't we use this as a good opportunity to, in fact, now survey the, 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 the policy environment across all political parties and, and perhaps look at um, you know, a change, change in leadership. So I think the, the nature of South Africa's multi-party democracy is something that's all to be questioned. I think we fall into a one-party um, state often. Um, and the idea, perhaps, that if the ANC were to, win, to lose one election, it would present the death of the ANC, as opposed to just a natural turnover of, of political leadership. But they might lose one election, but then two elections later, they may then regain power. You know, a loss of an election is not the death of a political party, mm. necessarily. So, so looking at the, you know, as I've said, the instability, recognizing that we haven't really discussed, I, I don't see the, the, the policy agenda coming out from the, from the reformist group, looking at the fact that multi-party democracy is not something that's being stressed, and perhaps an ANC scenario is, is a, you know, a win is likely yeah. because of the fact that South Africans don't really consider the opposition as a, as, as a, as a likely source. Mm -hmm.